we're going to go ahead and call the meeting to order, please. Start with the pledge, and then if Commissioner Patton would do our prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Father in heaven, we approach our throne in humble manner. Ask your blessings upon us as we enter into this meeting. We ask you to bless us with patience, wisdom, and knowledge to conduct the affairs of this city in an equitable and fair manner to all involved. We come before your throne asking special blessings upon members of our community that were in an accident. We ask your blessings upon the Glad Hill family as they struggle with the injuries of that. Bless the Addington family as they recover and the Fourth Foster family as they grieve the loss of a loved one and the healing of another daughter. Bless them as only you can, and may we be a support system to them in this time of need. Be with us, guard, guide, and direct us in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Okay. Welcome everybody out tonight. Uh, hmm? Hey, camp off. Oh, gracious. <laughs> it's been like that only. Well, when I started here about five years ago. <laughs> that's a fresh one, though. Okay, first item, approval minutes. Make motion sure. to approve minutes. Second. We have a motion second. All those papers saying by the aye. Opposed saying. Motion passes. Next item is the bills. I move to pay all bills. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor saying by the aye. Aye. Opposed saying. Passes. Item under old business is a second reading of the budget amendment from last month's meeting. I don't have my copy of this still. I, I don't have my copy of my, with me either. It's still the same as it was. Nothing, Everything nothing, is nothing changed. changed. Make a motion that we, do I need to approve it or accept the second accept reading? Accept the second. Of, accept the second reading of the budget amendment. Second. I have a motion is seconding. Further discussion? Those in favor saying five thousand. Aye. Opposed same. Motion passes. Under new business, first item is a reading of the 2024-2025 budget. Okay, we had some printer issues. I have one hard copy. If y'all want to look at it and stuff, I can get your other one hopefully tomorrow. This is the... I need to talk to you before we get it. Yeah. I was able to talk to you beforehand and I forgot it. Some of the things that are in the budget, maybe we can talk about it fairly quick. Uh, I've discussed with, with most everybody here. Uh, police department, we are, I think Mike had called today, the car that we ordered is gonna be here possibly in June. Mm -hmm. I had a car that caught fire over the weekend. The gentleman that Mike had ordered the car from accidentally ordered an extra car, so they have. <laughs> You're kidding. No, no it's about no. three or four days behind us yeah. on the lot. So I think we're going to be found there. Explore? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just like so please tell me you didn't get another no, charger. No, no. We're, we're hopefully done with him. Uh, fire department, we are looking at a new fire truck. I think David has, and him and his committee have been spec one out. Uh, he can talk more about that here directly. Uh, using some of the ARP money, possibly going towards that. And while we're at that, we're looking at maybe trying to replace the brush truck as well using city money. Uh, that one's not in the budget yet, just the, the one truck. Uh, police department, like I said, we're getting one new car for sure, possibly two. Well, the second car actually going to make this be uh, uh, the equipment and lettering, whatnot's in there. We've got one car in this year's budget, don't we? Yes. That we haven't got yet. Yeah, that's one we're hoping to get. Yeah. Through. Parks department, you know, is, is same old, same old. We're upgrading equipment at the park. We're uh, clearing property, cleaning property, reseeding. Uh, nothing, nothing really outstanding there. Uh, water department, water district is, they sent out a letter. They're raising rates around 18%. Hmm. So we, we have actually had a company 
Kentucky River Water do a water rate study for us. They'll have us some figures on water or wastewater and sanitation. There, unfortunately, there will be an increase this year. So that's well, with the that county water district taking one, we won't have any choice. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Sanitation. We've got, we've got four or five garage doors. We've got to have some tension to them. We're going to replace them. They're 15, 20 years old. Four, four of them. Four doors. Uh, just general maintenance on them. Or replace them up here. I think we have a truck budget in the wastewater account for this year that we're going to try to move forward on getting. And I think we have a truck in the water department for next year. For next year. And then we're looking at one new mower uh, in next year's budget as well. That, in a nutshell, <coughs> is where we're at this point. And I'm sure there, I know there'll be changes on water center sanitation rates next month. So the county's increasing their rates by 18. That's what they asked for previously. That's a chunk. Wastewater. Uh, Senate Bill 36. We're getting some money that we was going to do the Knight Township project. We're switching out to the Kegels, so. That's going to be somewhere around five hundred fifty thousand dollars for new lift station at Cagles, Gabriel pump station, and a force main up to uh, <coughs> I guess be Bell Drive or Reed Avenue. That's in the wastewater side. This is a dumb question, Larry, but does it go from through the field there? It does. does. Okay. It does. Right now, right now, if you're standing at Cagles lift station and looking south. It is on the west side of that ditch. Okay. It's in the backyard of that duplex. Backyard. So okay. the new, li new lift station is proposed. We're to hoping to move it. The, yeah, east side of the ditch, and the force main going up the east side of that ditch as well. Okay. That maybe it wasn't dumb, and that makes sense to me. What you said. Smart, good question. <laughs> good question. I said maybe it wasn't a dumb question, and what you said makes sense to me. Yeah, good question. Upsizing the lift station, upsizing the force main for future. I know somebody's got a few acres out there that may subdivide some kind of time. <laughs> <laughs> I have to move that water line first. You know, the one thing going through my field that I didn't sign the easement for. <laughs> have you not told him after so many years that doesn't matter anymore? I told him you just won't listen. Yeah. If you just let me have that house, I'd agree to it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any questions for Larry? Of course, like I say, we, uh, this has to go through a second reading so we can make all, any kind of changes we want to make on it. Well, I've uh, moved to make, approve the first reading of the 24-25 budget. Of course, like you said, we can amend it between now and then, but we need to get the first one over with. Second. So we have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Aye. Opposed, same. No. Motion passes. Next item is fire department savings account. Yes, the, we received state aid money, and it has to be spent within the fiscal year that it was no. deemed for. Okay, I didn't think so. And the 23-24 money has not been spent. David had contacted state aid. They said we can put a savings account, but we have to spend within a year. Yeah, within a year. Okay. But they need it put into a savings account, and then a, a PO shows that it's in the savings account deposit, and then it can be carried over. What, uh, what kind of year are you talking about? Fiscal year, calendar year? Fiscal year, yes. The end of this fiscal year or starting for the next 24? For the next 25. So you can only carry it forward one year? Yeah, correct. Need that in motion? Mm -hmm. I move to uh, have a savings account for the state aid money for the fire department. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify by the aye. Uh -huh. Opposed, same. Motion passes. The next time is apply for the 2024 COPS hiring program. Jill, you want to tell them a little bit about no, that? I, I think, if I remember right, <laughs> Chief Brent, uh, I think it's for three years, it's 125000 They, We have to pay 25%, right? 25. Of that 125000 Then we have to retain them a year. Mm -hmm. I think after that three years, we have to retain that offer. We can. It doesn't have to say to be, okay, if we hire Larry and something happens, 
the way I understand it. We heard later something happens. We can still use that spot for another officer. Another officer. To add it, it basically pays for a position. Yes. For it's seventy five percent of the salary for three years. Yes. Well, I think it's done that before. Was it Leroy or Jeff Shepard? We hired Jeff Shepard. Jeff Parrish. No. One of them we hired that way. The maybe, maybe Leroy. I don't know. But we did one. I can remember doing yeah. at least one. Yeah. One of them. We need to prove a vote to apply for it. I make a motion that we apply for that. No, just let us hire somebody to send to the academy. Do what? We just let us hire and send somebody to the academy. Okay. So we just was made aware to make sure we don't hire somebody before we get it approved. Yeah. All right. Because I don't know how much trouble it is to get approved or how long it'll take. We met with that lady one time, Jill, myself, and yeah, we met with her one time. She was helpful, but she really didn't know a lot about me. She but she said, I'm willing to find out and help y'all what I can. So it's just something we might look at. If it works out, it does. If it don't, it does. Yeah. Okay. Did we vote on that? No. Same okay. Same we have the motion in a second. A second. Mm -hmm. Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is municipal road aid co op. Yeah, that's the same thing we do that every year. Yeah, we do it every year. Too. Now, I, say, I move to approve the municipal road aid co-op. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. Okay. Larry? Yes. Uh, with us, we'll be receiving, we've received one new more this year. We're going to buy another one in the next year's budget. We have three or four more we would like to declare surplus and to put on good deals. Uh, I can get the information. I can get all the serial number stuff to chill. We've got two 72 inch mowers, uh, one 52 inch, maybe a second 52 inch that we can declare surplus to. Just need a, that, that's a motion. Travis, a warm out. Yeah. 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 We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Both same. Are there any other mowing equipment that need to be surplus? I don't think so. Okay, all the weed ears and things like that you're going to keep? Yeah. Okay. Well, usually when they're done, they're done. Yeah. Well, that's true, but I didn't know we have any, tell how new they were about if you're going to keep them, though. Yeah. We do have an issue with a water meter at Brandel Bratcher's apartment. There's two meters in one tub, and the numbers were switched on the accounts, and it come to our attention that, that apartment A is being billed for apartment B and apartment B for apartment A. So we have one bill. Do you have the numbers? I do. We got, we've got to get to the bottom of it on somebody is going to end up having a credit and then somebody's going to end up owing. One of them was Sean Steele's sister or mother? Brother. Brother. Another gentleman. Who was he? It was a lady that couldn't remember her name. How did it finally get discovered that this One of them thought they had a leak. And I guess Kevin Likens went up and he said that the meter that was leaking was not going to the house, the apartment. So it's something that we did when it was installed? The, the, the transponders was a sign wrong. The apartments. They were signed wrong. And it, it could have been the guys that brought the stickers. There, there, there's no yeah. way of knowing if it, yeah. it was done. Yeah. And fix it. So you don't know about the, how long it's been going on? Since the transponder changed out, probably. Excuse probably me? Over a year. Be my oh, guess. Okay, so it's either since the transponder changed out or since they was built, the plumber ran them in wrong. There's two different possibilities. There. That's what I was going to do since they were built. I don't know. We're just kind of straightened out. So. Yeah. That's what yeah. we're you know, that's know. kind of a mistake. <laughs> we maybe just happen to adjust them and go on. That's, we're gonna try that's, not, that's not the homeowner's fault. We're going to try to come to a reasonable remedy and if it won't work, then you know, I mean, we may come to that point, though. Yeah. Larry, do we want to go ahead and do that cost for us while we're in the, the one that we're yes, going to yes. do? Yes, yes. Do you know what year it is? We have a police car we declare surplus, too. Is it a 14 or a 15? Uh, no, that's 14. 14. No, 15, I think. I think it's 14. We have another police car that we need to declare surplus. It's got some engine issues. So, need that for motion, too. Put on good deals. Say I've moved to put police car on good deal surplus. We'll get second. you a lot of the VIN numbers and serial numbers. But motion is second. Any further discussion? 
Those in favor, signify that. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Sandy. I don't think I have anything. Charles. Uh, just to inquire, Larry, this rate increase on the water, if you looked at how many, what would have an effect us on each month on how much our bill would increase, if they get that amount? Uh, $4 a liter. I mean, totally what we would have to pay. The city would pay for, for oh, the wholesale. $60,000 a year. 60000 a year. A year difference. A little bit less than I thought it would be. I thought it would be more than that. Yeah. 66 or 60. 60000 a year. But the rate increase that they're asking for, I assume to be higher than that. So you're talking about how much pass on, about $25, $30 a house? I thought I figured that was like three eighty something per oh, Three or $4? Yeah. Uh, I feel sad, sad to do that, but not too bad. That well, we, either. the rate increase, I had already initiated, initiated that prior to knowing the county was. And historically, what would they, they will they get their full amount or do you know, will they get will they give it or more? PSC, okay. will, PSC will give them that or more. They'll look at their their day-to-day -day functions and. Well, the sooner we can, we might need to adjust our for get ahead of it. Yeah. Well, that's one thing that's worked out. We were already looking to do the yeah, but, an to do a study to see where we were at. So at least at the time he's hitting, it's not like we did a study and said, okay, we're good, and then a month later find out, no, we weren't good. Yeah. I talked to Eric today, and he said it would probably be October, November before they would find out for sure what the money would get. Okay. Kevin? Good. Okay, I got just a couple things. One, the, the brownfield. Phase one we did at the wastewater plant, and we've got some issues down there we're going to have to address. But I would like to ask for this board's approval to go ahead and, and make get the uh, wheels in motion to apply for the phase two, which is a little more in-depth to see. The phase one wasn't too bad, except for the stuff stored in the buildings. It wasn't the buildings themselves. Things were stored in it. All kinds of chemicals. And, fuel and oil and they've got a whole list of stuff. So we need a motion to apply for phase but two. But we need a motion to to get I'll the process that. going I'll for phase two. Motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify by the aye. Uh -huh. Opposed same. Are you, are you, talking, are you talking about the buildings that are down there on the property? Mm -hmm. Some of them's got some lead based paint on them. And I don't remember ever seeing anything in there but like old Equipment. Was there was there a stockpile of tires down there? There was. They're gone. No, I know they're gone. I went down there a while ago. Yeah. They were on the report. Some lights and stuff there's like some, that. There's some old jugs. That's about as far as the fuel or chemicals go. Light bulbs. Yeah, smoke, there's smoke lights. There's some thousand watt ballasts and bulbs are down there. Mercury. Well, these got mercury in them. I'm just telling you what yeah. the reports. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Another issue we've got is Neo Enterprises is doing a big expansion. Uh, being, they're going to probably add about another 25 or 30 people. They purchased the old Spug building that belonged to Charlotte and Chad behind them, and they purchased all the rest of the remaining property that Charlotte owned from the Spug building all back into the point. But they've got some questions about the road. Technology Drive ends right now kind of where that other road turns to the right and hits the old railroad bed, like it was, it was initially going to cross the railroad and go over by the shrimp place. Uh, and this is probably going to be an A-B question, because according to the PBA, <laughs> Technology Drive, and even where the sign is up front, did you go find that brick sign? It's there. It was all owned by Charlotte and Chad. According to the PBA map, but when they've laid it out out there, it shows a, like a 30-foot right of way through there for the roadway. They want permission to, Neo is, well, in Charlotte too, they want to extend it, the road. They take care of it. They don't want us to necessarily do it, and they're good with gravel. But because it is on what they feel like city property, their in civil engineer says they have to get permission and meet whatever city standards we put in place for it. Uh, how do we find out? Because this would have been old industrial foundation property. Well, I'm not exactly sure where it is. 
Uh, do you know where Star Cycle's at? Yes. It's out that area. That's Technology Drive will turn right, right there. If Charlotte didn't think it's their property, why do we have to get involved with the industry? industry no, they don't think it's theirs. <laughs> Oh, I thought they did. No, no. The no. PVA does. Is that PVA what does. Two thirty. I knew I missed something there. Technology drive comes to us. The PVA says it's theirs. I'm sure you're looking at that file. The PVA record. Charlotte sold that to me. She kept this record. She owned this truck back here. See this truck back here shows. That's right. Arthur inherited a little man. So sometimes they rebuild things. Well, they talk about extending the warranty. Yeah, they do the best. This technology drive. It is right now. To go into where? Well, to access this building. And there's yeah. a new building here now. So they're just going to extend it all out. This is the existing There's nothing here. No, there's just. It even looks like a right of way, but it all went with this track. So why is it get their way thing? The city has to know you're not. Because when they serve, when they're serving or serving, he told them they don't ever really want to go for the child. So, okay, now, why do they? Well, so far, their question is before their engineer does something, who does it? And do they have permission to drive? It's a mess. It's a mess. And they're not. Well, I'm not sure why. They come serving. It's not their problem. It's always a problem. It's always a problem. It's always a problem. You don't ever die. Or this problem. This problem. This problem. This problem. This problem. I think it's probably a Hey, David. Are they talking property over there? He said he has a question. Yeah, it's getting there. They're talking about this. Is there a survey of Just so you all know, they're having a private conversation. I know. Let's talk about flags. We're talking about flags not being raggy. Yeah. I get that from my daddy. I spot flags and I'm like, I text him later. It's like we got a raggedy flag here. I'm like, I don't know what raggedy flag is. That one's not spinning. And you see down there, too, that tree where that, that old fence post is sitting? Mm -hmm. You have between that fence post and that fence post. This other one, I think it's, it's a whole lot smaller. I tried to pull up that. But that's what they say that, that track looks like. I'll be very deep. Which one I think he chose it. He chose the fence back. I don't know. I don't care. Because he just did. He just redid the fence post. You can see it goes way off. Oh, it comes to a point. Yeah, it comes to a point. But see, you got a blue line. It shows all that red stuff. You may have to work with the next auction. Mm -hmm. And the people who buy my way. Well, this is not the case. No, no. You know that. Yes. The PBA stuff. Right. Their question is. Yeah, I was I was to to I Yeah, it would be if it didn't have that little Well, 
But if you need to take that track out and consider it, that's played by the state. So so this track is important to me. This little area here is important. These people have they own this and this. Or they don't expand into this. Possible stuff that they should have been present. They don't know the city. Yeah, there's nothing I was trying to be in college. No, it's not that. I don't I don't like it. This building over here, they're driving away the back of the house. You might not be able to look at looking at me, but you know. She sold these two. Two the If I understand what you're saying, none of these streets at this present time have ever been dedicated to the city. Not the end. So. If, if this track is surveyed here, you will not include this track. Correct. This track is surveyed out to the They told me. They were hot and raw. I got news for you. This track right here. He said it doesn't need them. Because Chad thought they don't know So So how wide is this right here? Quite 30 foot. Is that what these roads are? Yeah, 30, mm -hmm. maybe 40, but I just don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, the business. Will they dedicate these, these roads to the city? Does the city want them? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to look at the city. Uh, I, don't get it. No, I, I don't know who's I mean, to say. They're, they're, like, they're, yeah. If they've never been period, yeah. they've never yeah. been deeded or dedicated. So, so the point is, so the point is, um, they dedicate these streets. So, so now, the, the, these are actually the city streets. It's a lot easier now at that point for the city to come in. And, and do whatever is necessary if you choose to do it. It's 30 foot to, to extend this right away, this additional 30 foot and move down here. Right now, the closest the city is to it, and the is rare. Yeah. So the city can do it this way. That. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. So I think they have to dedicate these streets to the city if they want the city to take some action to it. Makes sense. Yeah. Now we got to find out who is it to dedicate. Because Chad says it's not showing up on Thursday when the survey. You mean the street is set? I thought it was Rick Boyd's video. He doesn't know who's surveying. I couldn't get a hold of Chad. He said, I don't know who's surveying. Right. 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 Do you remember when Stair Cycle went in? Yeah, it was built in 91 or 2. What? Stair Cycle was back in the 80s. Is that space building like the city limits? It's also kind of weird. I know the left side. We took out the city. Yeah, just, we took out stuff that Jason heard. Right. Taking away. I don't know if because, because technically, you can be right here, 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 Delaware. 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 Delaware.
Has there ever been any paving done out there? On Technology Drive, yes. Did we do it? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I was when? Wrong. Six years ago? Eight years ago? You say 16 years ago? No. It's been since 16. we've been in office? Do I? It's been since we've been here? Yes. I don't remember. Since I've been here, I know we yes. have there, but I don't have to how far back it was. I do remember we did Did you do any maintaining before the six years? Did we what? Did, did you, you do anything to maintain the road or right of way? That was the only time we Braided. did anything, wasn't it, Larry? No. Clean the ditches out? Not, no. si not since I've been here, no. And it was excess money, wasn't we taken from the city street to some excess money, wasn't it? No. It, 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 I mean, we, I was always told it was a city street, Technology Drive. How did it become a city street? Uh, okay, I can't answer that. That's what's first. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was a county street, so far out. And we with the city black talk the last time. Couldn't be in the county, it's in the city limits. It's, yeah. Well, if the city can reasonably take the position that that it has, by agreement of everyone involved, that the city has continuously maintained the street for over 15 years, and effectively it's a city street by prescription. Uh, but so that's why I'm, I'm I'm asking you all the good things the city has done for that street over the last. 15 years. It's been blacktop once since I've been here, and that was six or eight years ago. Prior to that, the city had not blacktop nothing. But I was always told it was a city street. Uh, is it part of. Um, tell me how it became a city street. David Taylor told me it was. That's I remember it was one of his babies. He loved that place. He had property right beside it. It was part of his mom's farm, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. The whole industrial park. Are you talking about David? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That house right there is your turn in. That's his mom's place. Right. right. Could you contact him and get him involved for him? That may be I that probably could if he remembers. Mm -hmm. That might be why he got paid. It's been that long, the part back more than six years. Yeah. It's been a long time. I think, been, I think it was longer than six. I don't remember it since we've been in here, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. Yeah. Did Did the city take take any action by motion or whatever to identify this as city streets at the time that the paving was done six years ago? No. Huh? Not that I'm worried of, no. We probably wouldn't have because everybody, it was a city street. It would have been well, a list of all of them we were doing. It, it, the, the question is about the extension. Mm -hmm. if, if the city can justifiably take the position it's a city street, then the city can justifiably take the position it needs to extend the existing city street for whatever the footage is. Because it, it's 30 feet as you defined it, so so it's going to be the same width as the other part right. of the street. So the only only question is getting a survey done for that additional part, and the city taking whatever action is necessary to include it as a part of the existing city street. Otherwise, if the if the city doesn't own, it's not a city street all the way out to 231. There's not a lot to city do. Period. That's what I was afraid he was going to tell me. Huh? That's what I was afraid he was going to tell me. So if we just, we're taking the position that it is a city street. That, by, by prescription. That, In other words, the city does, 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 do you patrol it? Yeah. I mean, we go out there every once in a while, but <laughs> you can call it patrolling. <laughs> So basically, but if we're saying by prescription that's a city street, that other little strip would be considered part of it, even though there's nothing 
it has not been developed. Or it either been it, not it either is, or you can. T I, I think you can take take the position that that the city is extending a street the same as we've extended other streets. Did we extend a street? Um, I got to think, Larry. It's off Ridgecrest Drive, maybe when we were talking about that uh, uh, well down there. Did we? Wasn't there a time in which we extended a street? That's down on South Mulberry, yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe, I don't know if there's a help or hurt or whatever, but if there was an accident on that street, yes, we work it. It's been that way since you've been here? Or as I know. How long have you been here? 18 years this, this summer. We just went over 15. Uh, no, basically, no. That's that, that, that's basically what you're looking for. Is is we don't have we don't have a deed, and we don't have a dedication. No one ever dedicated it. But the city has just accepted it as part of this, the street system. It needs to somehow, uh, uh, if we get a description of it, survey description of it, then then basically the city goes on record. The motion and the second passed the motion to extend the street, the existing city streets. Um, um, well, that's that's just it. They don't want us to extend the street. They want to extend it. They just want to know if they can do it on what they thought was city property. I don't want to put any. I don't want to have to be at the expense of extending the street. See, I know a lot of places, like with the county, even you, you, if you want to extend the road, that's fine. But you have to build the road. It has to go to the that's, specs, and then we accept it. Well, that's, that's that's what they're wanting. Well, what I would think they were wanting to they're do. They're wanting to do it all. That's they fine. Want, yeah. they, but they still have to accept but, it after but they're, to, they're probably going to leave it gravel because it only accesses them and Charlotte. Neil and Charlotte it would dead end, and it's for their tractor trailer traffic. Would it not ever be accessible for the property that Jason Shin had? Or did Charlotte buy that? They, Charlotte bought all okay. that. Okay. And now Neil. Okay. Have you, have, when in the past have we ever authorized extension of a city street that is simply gravel? Never. I don't, well, I don't remember. How, what kind of vehicles are going to be on it and how often and all tractor, that stuff? Tractor trailer, maybe. Like and, and daily? They're not, what, they're not even asking us to maintain it. They're just wanting to know. They think the city owns it. Will we let them use it as an access to their property? They more or less want to make a gravel drive on your property. Mm -hmm. All signed for rule number one. All they need to know. <laughs> huh? The, your rule number one is all they need to know. <laughs> well, the obvious simple thing to say is it is a city street by prescription. If you're going to extend it, you're going to meet the city guidelines of what what you do when you extend a city street you know otherwise they could just grade it and leave it dirt basically because if there's no no standard whatsoever so if you're going to extend it it would seem to me that you'd want them to extend it in such a fashion that it meets the criteria of what the city does for its streets mm -hmm. but then when they got their truck traffic going out there turning all the time on it and eating that pavement up we have to go fix it every so many years what happens if they grade it dirt and then it gets accepted in the city street and they come back and say it needs to be blacktop? No, no blacktop. It's a city street. Well, they have to do that if it's extended out because it, there's nothing else out there but them. Well, they're using the, they're using the entire road, aren't they? Get in and out of there with tractor trailers? Yeah, from 231 out, but from that point right there, they want to know if they can extend it. Well, I know, but they're, if they're not just tearing up that portion, if the well, I'm talking about when they when your truck goes to turning all the time. That's where you get your damage okay. on your. But did you see they want they want to extend it? They want to build it? They want to do the work and they want to maintain it. Yes. So that's a good. That's, if, a good, that's a very good point. If that happens, then they would be responsible for. But they're not wanting to blacktop it. They're what? They're not wanting to blacktop. But, but they're if not it, maintaining the gravel. Yeah, they're they're, they're, they're maintaining it. They're taking care of it. Just. For the sake, I, I don't need to interject. Could it not just be treated as your street ends? That's their driveway. That's what I'm hoping. I mean, you know what I'm saying. I mean, it, at that point, it doesn't make any difference if they do anything. You, it's still your street, but that's just a driveway. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, uh, 
I, I, I think I agree. With, I think I entirely agree with what you're saying. But the point at this point is that little additional section is not a city street. Right. Okay, so the city doesn't have the authority to tell them anything to do with that portion, and they're probably trespassing if they go on there and do it, if you understand what I'm saying. They're going to have to determine who owns it, because the city obviously doesn't, it's not a city street at this point. You agree with that? Mm -hmm. As far as we know, we don't so, know. So, so the city can't give them the authority to to do anything on there. If they do it, and nobody says anything, they're going to get away with it. If they do it, and somebody comes in and is raising cane about that property belongs to me, that's between that company and them because it's not a city street. But if, if the city's going to accept that as part of the city street, then it seems to me that that because I think we've always been consistent about that. If they're going to do that, and if they're going to build it, they're going to build it to city specifications. And, and I, I would agree 110 percent. That's what we would have started done from the beginning. If that street could ever go on anywhere else and develop anymore, correct? If, because they own all the way around it. It's, it's only going to go out another 50, 60 feet, whatever it is. It can't go any further unless they develop more property behind it. But then that's on them as a developer to extend the street. Well, the city can't give them the authority to do anything unless the unless city claims to own it as part of the city street or the city decides it's something we want to actually buy. But you wouldn't want to do that. The only reason you want to do it is if it's an extension of the city street, right? right? It's a commission decision, but... but um, was it on their property where they're trying to put it? It's on the, I'm sorry, it's right there is the spec building. Right. Charlotte's built a new building right here already, but she owned that tract, that tract, and that tract. But if you look at the layout by here, this tract right here, according to PBA, includes the road and this little stretch down here and all the way, and that road even, which is what I'm guessing was when the Industrial Foundation developed all this, they platted out these lots and right here, and they never platted all that out yet. Well, that, so that, when they sold the rest of their property, it included the road that they had never dedicated to the city. Then it seems like that would be their property. They could basically do what they wanted to, couldn't they? Well, they say it's not. That's what my argument was. Yeah, I don't see why. I don't see why we would ever think. Why do they say it's not? Because the surveyor says it's not. But the PUA says it is. Mm -hmm. So someone surveyed it at one point and said. Or wouldn't be like that in PVA record. Mm -hmm. Well, well, the PVA yeah. record is not proof of ownership. No, yeah, it's well, not super accurate either. No, <laughs> but it's not. Really not. But the survey that's done over the years, that's a ten accurate survey, and probably that should it up. It's, it's bad. It, do, it does clear it up for the city. <laughs> it gives the survey of that and just says this is that a city street well. by, by prescription. <laughs> we want to extend a city street. This this to, to this area. No nobody's going to contest that. But then the question becomes: if what they want to do is put, you know, do some grain and put some gravel. Whether that's that's going to be acceptable to the city as an extension of the city street. And I might be comparing potatoes to frogs, but. This whole conversation puts me in mind of an alley, not too far away. It's yours, it's mine, it's not ours, it's not mine, it's not yours. Is it where well, we kind of are? This was a little different because they don't want us to do anything. They right. just went off they can right. drive But on. that was kind of <laughs> that too, right? Well, that's where you had property owners All thing is yeah. in dispute. Do and we have any future development out there. Exactly. Do what? I think we get in trouble if they had any future development. We'd let them do it in future development. That's what it might fall back on us. Well, the thing it is, we can't, even if we took claimed ownership of that piece right there, we don't own any of that. So that road can't go anywhere unless NEO decides to extend that road and develop more property back there. 
And that's not something we would do anyway. They'd be the developer. Well, I'd be the developer. But they won't do it unless we grant permission because they think that we own it. But and I told Greg, we may not be able to grant you permission because we may not be in a position to grant permission. I'm not sure we'd have a record there because I remember when they built all that. That's where we would stand, there, don't there, and don't I'm not sure that anything was ever. Owner, so That's what the problem we're running into. There's so many of this stuff that was never dedicated. If right. All that ever or was. dated to the city. Well, what we have to go upon right now is the PVA records that says that we do not own it. Is that correct? That's all I've got right now. And is that from 231 all the way back? Yeah. Or? At the end of the pavement back. I That's think. what it shows that Charlotte owned everything inside that blue lines. And where's the 231's out here. Okay. Larry, was the whole thing blacktop? Where's the street that's blacktopped? Right here, Technology Central. Drive. Okay. Inside there, right here, Stericycle. Huh. The uh, blacktop spec I, building. I, I, I when I started like here in 93, we, we don't just researched it. So we can't tell you. Who, who blacktopped it in 93? It was prior to 93. I don't know. Yeah, that's where he got it. Do you, I, I thought you'd been here. Don't let the gray hair fool you. <laughs> Okay. I may holler at you again when we get to some information from a surveyor. Okay. One other thing that I will go with the crowd and we have to do a short closed session. I'm sorry. Uh, I've got a quote from Render Landscaping for annual maintenance for be the property and the corner of 62 and 231, the, where the Christmas or everything around the Christmas tree where it's at, there by Beef O'Brady's, and in front of City Hall, not counting mowing or weed eating out front here, because <laughs> Travis is going to take care of that for us for two thousand dollars for an annual. Do we need a motion? Mm -hmm. well, I think that would be a good motion point. that That's we like. accept that. And that she, includes the the bark mulch she's and good. That's everything. Good. We have a motion second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify by that. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next thing I'd like to ask for, along with that, Travis and I have been looking into out here out front doing that concrete edging around the landscaping to keep the mulch in and the mm -hmm. mower out instead of using metal or stuff. It's what, estimated about 2500 It shouldn't cost over $2,500, should it? Yeah, $10 a foot. $10 to $12 a foot. A 10 is one we've picked out, I think, That's isn't it? $10 a I'd like to get a motion for to go ahead and do that so when we get that nailed down we don't have to wait for another month's meeting to make motion we accept take the ten dollar monthly. Second. Got a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor saying about that. Opposed saying the motion passes. Talk. Talk. That's mm -hmm. All right, that's all I've got. Jill? Um, oh yeah, I forgot oh. that. Yes, no, I was gonna say make a motion uh, <laughs> that. No, before we go, I think the point of information. I'm going to a conference the first of June. I think you're going with me in a couple of days. It's KLC conference oh, in Lexington. I'm going. This point of interest that you know we're, we're, we're going and spending city money. <laughs> Just so you know, Travis, you have anything? Uh, Mike. I don't unless you guys have some questions. We'll talk about the fire truck earlier. What we're looking at. Oh, we're going ahead and get the two, or are we just going to get the one? That's the question you answered. You're more than happy to get two of them if that's what you want. How much would the brush truck cost? Uh, it's hard to say. We won't need a whole, we won't really need any equipment for it because they're all the equipment we have on our current brush truck to move over. Um, our skid unit has things still in pretty good shape, lights, iron, stuff like that. So, are you looking at something like a one ton? Me, probably so. I mean, is that. I think well, one time or maybe a little bit bigger. 3500 I think, is what we That's, that's one time. Okay, that's one time. Uh, well, you want a Ford. <laughs> I'm not stuck on Ford. They do <clears throat> really good. 
Huh? I'm not stuck on them, but they do hold up good. My stock goes up. <laughs> uh, but to answer your question, uh, I guess the biggest thing would be just the basic truck that we remove our equipment over. The uh, the hardest thing that's always been with our trucks is the color scheme, obviously. We don't want to have just a all color truck and we're going to buy something newer and want it to kind of match. Um, there's some options though. I need to reach, get up with Mike, reach out to the guy that does his uh, wrapping and see what if they're able to do a whole truck like that. That may be quite a bit cheaper than what painting a truck would be. So that may be an option. But as far as equipment and stuff, we wouldn't have to purchase it. So it'd be whatever one tuck, one tuck truck is going for, I'm not sure. So would you want a white one or a black one? I'd rather go with a gray one. Oh, gray, okay. Yeah, to match that. Uh, okay, that, no, that makes sense. I was trying to think what you could wrap and it looked okay. Yeah, if, you, if we could get like a gray one and yeah. maybe wrap the bottom half, two-tone it wrap with green into the black decals, it would look just that like that. Yeah, look nice. it would look like the other one. The second truck would depend a lot if we can fund the first one through the ARP fully. We can't do it fully because we got some other plans for some of that. But. That will have a big impact on the second truck. Mm -hmm. The first truck definitely needed more at the time. But. Okay. Angie? I'm good. Okay. I'm assuming you're good. Okay. You know, take motion going to close session. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, 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 it may be. It may be the ten years I've ever seen. Yes. Okay. What was in here? So I'm well, that's that's what I. You need to say your little do, and then my business was conducted. In oh, the <laughs> these guys know it. They know it. Okay. Make a motion to adjourn. Say it.